Well, I've tried different settings uh, here. Uh, one thing I haven't tried yet... Gosh, that was a loud bang, wasn't it, on that? One thing I haven't tried yet is um, is a land battle. I've done a sea battle. I've done... I think I've done just about everything else, haven't I? Um, I showed you one sea battle. I didn't show the other, because I wanted to get through it quickly. And there is a chance I might even get through all these before Shogun Total War 2 comes out, because there isn't a lot to do. If you look at the bottom left-hand map there, my plan is to um, capture the French in some regions there in the middle and surround him by liberating the um, the areas in kind of a like a, a kind of an outer perimeter um, so that I sort of um, uh, sort of, well, I don't know, sort of get the Spanish really, I think, to occupy those territories around the outside. So if the French come through, they've got to come through Spanish territories. And then I can work on the ones inside. I've only got three armies, you see, so I, I need to sort of consolidate a decent position with very few borders. And that's the general plan, anyway. We'll see where we go. Spanish are doing fairly well, if you see on the bottom right there, on the well, it's on the bottom left map, but it's on the uh, you know the the southeast. Um, so they've got a pretty darn good foothold in there. Um, and uh, if I can just sort of surround Badajoz, that's the sort of like furthest um, south-western position that they've got there. And that should be good. What have I got here? Oh, this is that provocateur that I was promised if I built a college. So that means the college is complete, I would have thought. So what am I going to do with him? Send him over to, I don't know, Lyon, I suppose. It takes him ages to get to Badajoz, and I'm sure in four turns I should have dealt with Badajoz, shouldn't I? I'm going to get a classical university, and the reason I'm going to get a classical university is, even though it gives me some um, anti-French sentiment, sorry, um, pro-French sentiment, um, it, uh, it gives me other benefits as well, which is mainly in tech research rate, so I'm hoping to be able to, um, you know, I don't know, take care of the anti uh, the pro-French settlement uh, sentiment, rather. So, uh, let's get a court of justice in there. That should help. In fact, another thing that might help will be to kick the minister. So let's do that now. Uh, any better? Ah, plus one to diplomatic relations, um, town wealth in all regions. Hey, that's pretty good actually. But I don't know how happy. They're still on naught, you see, um, on there, so I, I need to build that up, really. But I'm expecting a town watch will grow up in there as well. well I think it already is doing. Mission issued. What have I got to get? Uh, technology anti-French sen sentiment. Right, OK. Ah, oh, I see. They want me to um, counteract the fact that it's a college, you see. Uh, sorry, it's going from a college up to a university. I'm not going to get that, though. I'm going to complete what I was getting before, which is a colonial funding. It's only three turns away. Um, the other one I've got to wait nine turns for, so that's aging recruited. What's this? Ancillary gained uh, minister. Yeah, thank you very much. And construction report. That's that college that I wanted that I've just now upgraded. I know somebody screamed at me, hey, what are you doing? Why don't you upgrade your um, ports down there in Gibraltar? They're quite right. Uh, if you look down here, people usually are right, you know. Um, they're not there for the people that subscribe to my games. Uh, what have we got here? It's a dry dock, and then it's... Um, a military port complex. And they're probably thinking about this one, I'm pretty sure that was the one that they mentioned. Because um, it gives me all of these kind of resources, you see, so I can get much better troops in there. In fact, well, I'll look at that again. Uh, what did I do then? Was it this one? Yeah. A lot of them came out with chevrons, didn't they? Yeah, you see, they all get basic chevrons as well, which is really good, isn't it? Okay, so on this one, if you remember, I'd. Uh, the, the plan is, I'll just show you on this bottom left hand map, you see this area here, the plan is to sort of like build a yellow circle around there so that I can then take out the um, the French from down here. But before I go on to that, um, if you remember, my ships are on their way back. I've taken his uh, merchant ships and um, put my own seamen on there, or rather paid his seamen to come and work for me. Um, now what I'm going to do is go over and destroy this port again. I know he can't get a, a trade income from there anymore, but he does get some income. And it will give me an opportunity to look at these at the same time. Plus I can send my ships back to, say, Gibraltar or somewhere like that, where I can recruit some more troops and then perhaps capture these areas here. Looking at the bottom left-hand map again, this area up here, this one, is a key um, area for me in terms of victory conditions, so I do need to take that as well. Do you remember what I, um, we said a long, long time ago about ruining ports? You see that's only got one, it's, sorry, it's only got a little bit of the bar missing now on that damage that I've just given to it. Every time you go in there, you create damage. Uh, apologies for these pe for, for any people that have seen this before, or these moves before. I know you said these people, I meant these moves, but uh, anyhow. 
He's come out of there again. It just costs him a lot more money. See how it's nearly gone down now completely? It costs him a lot more money to um, sort that port out. It takes him three turns for every merchant ship that he produces. So to get enough um, merchant ships from there to be able to tackle my merchant ships, he'd need to um, spend about nine turns, really. So, at which time I expect to have my fleet back again. So, And I'm damaging it, of course, so he's got to spend at least a turn repairing that, and it's going to cost him a fortune to do it. If you remember, I'm also building um, a merchant ship up here. I say building, as in building in the boatyard. Well, it's not really building here, is it? It's a kind of recruitment, I think they call it, but I'm building a merchant ship there. And the idea is that he will wreck the ports on the way around here as he goes to join that trade hub. But then I'll get another merchant ship and send it over to these over here as well, which means I'll have four over there, so I should be able to keep pace with him. You know, in other words, have slightly more merchant ships than he's going to have than me, and if I can wreck any um, ports that might... or take any territories that have got ports in them that might produce... Um, uh, or any kind of military ships, and that's what I'm going to do. Right, OK, over here I've got a spy, so I'll send him over to... I don't know, I've got one going to Lyon, oh nice, so let's have another one going... Oh, there's Madrid. Madrid's not far away, is it, actually? <laughs> I hadn't realised I was quite so close. Um, hmm, I wonder if Madrid's the place I should go and have a look at it. Uh, no, it's not going to be. What I'm going to do is head this way. OK, uh, what shall we do? Infiltrate for now, and then maybe sabotage afterwards. Right, um, the reason for that is that uh, I don't need him in the way of the road. Do you remember I liberated this place last time? Well, by liberating it, it meant then that I got um, these um, troops here, which are, um, what are they, um, uh, light cavalry and uh, cazadores, and um, a guerrilla leader. So um, he should be able to, hopefully, oh, he hasn't got any troops in there yet. But he will be getting troops in there, I'm sure he will. He hasn't got any at the moment, though. Hmm, he's going to need troops in there. I don't know what he's playing at, but... Anyhow, it doesn't really matter if I lose troops. That's not a problem to me. What's he got there? The, the armies are fairly small in this, which I like. You know, I hate it when you've got, um, you know, several... You know, you, well, I say armies. I, I don't mean just units, I mean armies. So you end up with about 20. Um... Well, I'll say 20. There are 20 in each army, aren't there? But um, you end up with more than 20. So you end up with about three, four, or even five armies. So you send your armies in against his armies. You'd end up fighting battle after battle after battle after battle. It's just a nonsense. Anyway, I think perhaps this is my opportunity to show something because we're attacking just um, armed citizenry. Um, they have less ammunition than we've got. I'll start it as I'm talking about it, actually. Um, where are we? So we'll assault that. Um, they have less ammunition than us. Um, the, my um, uh, general's horse can fire, my other horse can't, uh, but they can charge and they can work fairly effectively. The um, uh, the gorillas, they can fire at a longer distance than he can fire. Um, but I, I don't really want to expose them to a lot of fire from a lot of troops at once. The problem with this is that I haven't got um, enough horse to be able to hide them somewhere. I've only got... Uh, in fact, I can look at the battlefield now. Looking at this, all the trees seem to be off in the north, don't they, there? So that's the sort of area I'm going to hide my troops in. And the idea, of course, will be to flank attack him. Yeah, usual technique. So let's see what happens. Um, I think... Uh, I don't think I've done any battles like these before, actually, working with um, Spanish troops. Um, the idea, obviously, is to take the place and to liberate the place. So, th the thing about these, I'll just show you, actually. If you click on here, you'll see... Oh, in fact, you don't even need to click. You see where it says on there, guerrilla units can be deployed anywhere on the battlefield except inside the enemy deployment zone. So, in other words, they don't have to be within your own deployment zone. You see that sort of blue area that you've got up there that normally you'd be able to deploy in? Well, I can actually deploy much further uh, forward than that, I can deploy all the way all the way over to here. Now, now that's where the um, where the woods are, isn't it? So, I think maybe I need to be looking at that kind of area. Normally I don't show this kind of setup. Ah, now this is one of the things I needed to test. I wanted to um, do the sound, didn't I? Of course. Uh, effects. Maybe I'll get rid of all that clanking as well. Right, okay, so a bit of sound on there as well. And 
resume battle. Okay, well, I hope we've got time to do this. I should have about 20 minutes, so there should be time to do this, but um, let's see if I can get them in a position where they're going to be hidden in some woods somewhere. Is it? Um, might be better, actually, if I put them behind a wall. Um, we we have limited shots as well, of course, so it's all's not rosy in the garden. Um, oh gosh, how can I get close to him so that I can hide and still fire at him? I want to be able to... You see what I'm doing? What I'm doing is I'm looking back to see at what point they can deploy. Right. Can't deploy anywhere around there. I'm supposed to be able to deploy much closer than that. Oh, why can't I deploy closer than that? Hmm. It would have been nice to go in there, wouldn't it, really? Uh, okay, what I'm going to do is get myself deployed, um, have a good look around, and then I'll show you where I've decided to go. Otherwise, you're hanging around a lot, aren't you, waiting to see what happens. Okay, I think you can see the plan. I found, um, if you look on the top right map, you'll see I found a wood that's well off to the right of him. You can see it's well outside the, the blue setup range that I'd normally be restricted to, so that's rather nice. So we're going to go in at a flank. Um, the plan is going to be to um, attack his flank really quickly with my general, and then withdraw my general backwards um, where my... Um, uh, where my guerrilla troops are waiting. Um, these in um, to attack one flank and these to fire as he comes through. That's the plan anyway. So let's give it a go. First thing is to get in there quickly. Yeah, fire at him quickly. Before he gets a chance to um, form himself up properly. Uh, looks like he's already getting there though. That's rather a shame, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. Uh, I was hoping to get a flank. Might not quite get it. Might just go for this one instead. Might just get him and then get away. Right, as soon as we've fired, I want to retire. Yeah? Okay, quickly out. Right. Run away, run away. Now, hopefully, he'll come after me. No, he's not going to, is he? It's a bit unsporting on him, isn't it? Oh, I've got one of them. Is he coming after me? He might be. Yes. Okay, well, if not, I'll just uh, reform anyway. Oh, that's really surprised me. I thought he'd have come after me there. I really did. Obviously decided not to. Are we uh, reloaded yet? I wish it would tell me if I'm reloaded or not. Well, I think they must have loaded while they were running. Okay, let's get another shot in with these then. So, what do we have? 40. I only killed 6. I thought it would be enough to get him to come and chase me, to be honest. But it isn't. Ah, now I might have these, though. Are these coming for it? I think they're going for the bait. Right. Are they? Yep. Okay, well, they're coming for me anyway. All right, let's get away. Are you coming? They don't look very happy, do they? They've got red on there already. They're tired, but they're encouraged by the high ground. So I'm rather hoping that. Um come on, come on, come on. Speed it up the camera a bit as well, actually. I'm hoping that that will uh, uh, make the games move a bit more fluidly. Uh, right, nearly there. Oh, should I between? Oh, blast! I should be between those two, shouldn't I? Okay, you get the plan. The idea is that these troops are going to be able to fire at him soon from the middle of nowhere. These are going to be able to come and attack him in the flank. And so that will be one of his units down. Okay. Oh. oh, damn, he's not coming, is he? Come on. Come on. Come 
on. It's not fair that, is it? If he can see my units. He should be able to see now only one unit, which is my general. And he should be coming in after my general. Fire. Excellent. Sir! Oh, Sir! Great. Our general is under attack! Oh, great. Right, we've got him this time. Come on, just a little bit nearer. Just a little bit nearer and we'll have you. Oh yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now then. Okay, just pull the general back. I don't need the general to be involved too much in this. I um, want to be able to take him out while he's um, a good enough distance away. That's the main thing. I don't want them to be firing while the cavalry go in, of course. Right, okay. That should take those out. That's excellent. Brilliant. Now, it's going to be the same again. That's one down. And we'll do the same again with another one, of course. So, let's see if I can coax another one in. And... Um, should really, perhaps, actually, no, what I'll do is I'll just build up a bit of experience for those troops while we can. Yeah. I could do a building some up for those lights as well. We are playing this on hard, by the way. It's not um, It's not very hard and it's not easy. It's just on hard. Um, but uh, those troops will get better, you see. I can pull them back and rest them and they will gain from having the extra chevrons from having... Um, slaughtered these men. So, what I really next need to do is get my general attacking this one here and I'll set up my little ambush again. Uh, anywhere else I can hide? I wish I could find out where they... See, these are trees here, aren't they? I wonder if I could hide in there. But then if I did, where would the horse hide? Hmm, not sure. No, I think I'm going to have to go all that way and go and get him. But you could tell, I mean, people say they like my tactics and things, but you could tell what I'm like, really, how I do these things. Um, it's all about um, sort of being extremely careful about what I do and sort of like building up my attacks all the time. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll put these then over here this time, like so. And the horse, they should have done their bit by now, have they? Yeah, I think so. Uh, they'll also be quite tired now, of course. Let's find out where the um, Carrileros have gone. And I'll put the horse, I hope you can hear me. You probably can't, hear, can't, probably can't even hear any of this. It's all a test for Shogun, you see. Where are they going? They go, whoops. Oh, press the wrong button then. Right, okay, so I'll put those there. So if I put the horse, say, over here. Yep. Will that hide them? I hope so. We'll find out in a minute anyway. Um, actually, his troops aren't completely destroyed, are they? Uh, how many has he got left? Twelve. No, I don't think we'll bother with just those twelve, will we? Right, let's get... Um, he's getting a shot in. They've lost a couple. To be quite frank, I don't really mind if I lose a lot of them. You know. Uh, I could lose them all, you know, I could lose the whole army, you, you, as long as I take the place, that's the main thing. Which one do I go for? Maybe I should go for that, that end one there. See if I can coax him out, shall I? Yep. Uh, hmm. Okay, well look, you can see the tactics, I've only got um, 10 minutes of video left, so what I'll do is I'll um, do this with the next one. If anything different happens, I'll bring you back into the game and you can see what's going on. It's all about tests, isn't it, this really? Just to see how, um, you know, how the sound is, mainly. 
and getting over these um, uh, upload problems. That's what I've got at the moment, you know, terrible upload problems. It's taking out, it can take a thousand minutes to upload a video. But anyway, I've got rid of um, Mozilla Firefox, which is my preferred browser. I've been using it for a long, long time, been very happy. But for some reason, it's got extremely slow. So um, I've gone over to uh, Chrome. I only ever watch um, TV on that, you know, on Chrome. But um, decided that I'm going to use Chrome instead and it, it seems to be a lot better at uploading so anyway we'll just have to see but that's another test for me I'm so glad I did it though because Shogun would have been so bitty if I hadn't you know because I just wouldn't have been prepared at all has my um, cavalry stopped moving yet uh, no it's still moving isn't it well I could see that anyway couldn't I where are they going to crikey oh, quite a long way to go aren't they really let's see where my general is anywhere near ready I was quite pleased I managed to get a shot in and get them away as well, actually, without uh, without any other problems. Okay, so I should be able to now attack them. Okay, I'll just do what mm, I don't know, maybe a minute or so, shall I, of this. I mean, the idea is really to get him down to three units, the same as mine. I've only lost what three men so far and destroyed a complete regiment of his. Um, and then once I've done this, I'll um, I'll attack all three of his units. You know, I'll, I'll sort of square up them really, because my lights will fire at a longer distance than his, kill more of his, and then just attack each of his other units from the flank with my horse. See where we go from there. Okay, I'll just let you watch this bit. The uh, wonderful splendour of Total War games now. Fantastic, aren't they? I'd show you a close-up of his men as well, but they're pretty rubbish troops here, you know, so... I don't think I should be um, sporting a Union Jack, really, should they? Fire? Oh, we took a hit that time. Wow, 17. That was a big hit. Oh, great. All he's doing is retreating this time. Well, that's not very really good, is it? Come on. Why aren't you coming after us? Right, well it looks like I might have to go for him. I don't mind, like I said, if I lose this general, to be honest. It might affect morale, but apart from that, I'm not bothered. Come on. Why don't you come and chase me? How come the other one chased me and this one won't? He's not as stupid. Maybe he's their general. Hmm. Fire! Come on, fire! Quickly! Why don't he fire before I do? And... He's losing a lot less men than I am as well. Oh, I don't think he's going to go for this one. So let's send the boys in. Okay, uh, I'll show you what happens. I've only got about six minutes of video left, so um, I, I'm not going to have a chance to complete the battle unless I um, sort of jump out of it a little bit. Okay, bringing you back in, just to give you an idea of what's happening. My lights have got up there now, speeded it all up. I've lost one man and he's lost, well, nearly half of that unit, so that's almost completely gone. I've got them in, um, uh, what do they call it, uh, light infantry behaviour, so we're not taking many um, losses. So they're firing pretty well. They're taking on two units, to be quite honest with you, but um, they've nearly got that one down to half and lost only three men, basically. So they're doing incredibly well, and they should be able to build up some decent chevrons on there as well. The horse are over here to the, uh, the flank, just waiting for him to come out and attack them. If he doesn't, then I'll form these into a solid block, and we should find that that unit is completely destroyed by then, and then we can um, attack these three units, which we should be able to defeat, really, on a one-on-one, -on -one, you know. Well, we'll see. What have we got? 85 against 56. I was hoping that that unit would actually route completely, but it doesn't look like it's going to, does it really? So we'll have to pick on this one then instead. 
So anyway, ju just to bring you back in and show you what's going on really and what the technique is really, I suppose that's the main thing. He's left his line way back now and really wanted one of his units to completely disappear because we will run out of ammunition. The reason why he'll have withdrawn that one is because he'll have run out of ammunition with it. He can only fire for around about half the time that I can fire, so um, it's going to be disappointing for him, but I'm not going to complain about that, am I? I might, though, just try bringing my general up to fire at him there, though, on that flank. Uh, because if he can't fire at me, I'm going to have a shot at him, aren't I? So that'd be rather nice. I'm pretty sure that's why I've withdrawn them anyway, so I'll find out anyway if he fires back at me. But like I said, I'm not too concerned if I lose the general. So anyway, I'll bring you back in, show you what happens. Yeah. OK, we're coming to the final stages now. My musketry fire has been effective enough to uh, route two of his units. And Oh, why isn't the pause coming off there? Right, OK, I wanted to pause it ready to restart, you see. So... Um, I've routed two of his units there. I'm now throwing in my horse, my general's horse. I'm throwing in my other horse as well from each of the flanks to hit both of those units there that are still fairly decent. Um, I'm about to run out of ammunition. What I've got to do is to get everything routing at the same time. If I can manage to do that, then it's all over, I'm afraid, for him. Um, right, OK, let's get... I don't want to be firing in there, do I? Let's charge those in. And that should be it now. Fact. Changes. Ah, they've all gone anyway. That's good news, isn't it? Okay, so they can go in against the. These here can kill some of these. Is that a bigger unit? No, no. We're going to continue. I want to build up some um, chevrons, of course. Ah, blast! Where are they gone? There they are. And these here. I don't know who they're chasing after? They're going to have to go after somebody. Those, I think, really. Oh. I thought his unit had come back. They shouldn't do that, should they? Okay, so um, that's it, basically. <laughs> um, try and coax one, try and try and coax them on with your general, and use your um, uh, one of these called these uh, Cazadores, um in light infantry behaviour just to engage them in fire because you're going to outfire them and they'll run out of ammunition as well, even if they can fire back at you. And um, and then once you've destabilised them, got rid of one of their units Glorious and um, upset the others, charge them in. To be it's quite simple, really. It was a 50-50 battle. This, by the way, I'm playing it on hard, so it's always um, the odds are always a little bit harder on hard, if you like. Um, what's going on there? Yeah. So we could probably have done a little bit better. Uh, but, you know, on 50-50, that's pretty good, you know. Uh, I don't know where these are. Yeah, I, what I'm saying is that it, it, there was only um, half a chance, really, that I would have won this battle if I'd have auto-resolved it. In fact, on hard, it's likely that I wouldn't have won it at all. So, uh, all these are going to go, by the way. Nothing's going to come back because we're attacking a town, of course. Now, I should only have the option now of liberating. My understanding is if you attack somewhere with guerrillas you have no choice um, other than to uh, other than to liberate the place rather than take it over so we'll see. I don't know where are those are. Are they there? Yes they are. I could really do with one of these units here. This one maybe. Attacking here. There are loads of them aren't there? And then perhaps over here send these. Okay. Idea, like I said before, is just to build up chevrons. Um, I don't suppose these men are going to be able to get into contact. Anyway, I've only got a minute or two when we get back to the map to um, show you what happens. Uh, sorry, to um, show you the results of the battle, as in terms of liberation, etc. So I'd better come out of this battle now. So. Right, quick look at the results before the um, uh, the time runs out. Guerrilla leader, blah blah. Uh, we're going to liberate this place. And you remember that sort of horseshoe I said I was going to put around there? So they're my next... Oh, crikey, got an even better guerrilla leader there. That's very good. Right, OK, remember I've got to pay for all of these troops. Right, so he's got a couple of um, units in there as well, which is great news. And there's my horseshoe. If you look on the bottom left map, can you see that? All the way around there. And I've got him trapped in the middle of there. And from now, from there, sorry, from that position, I need to figure out what I'm going to do next. But there is an army, I know just here, 
which is within striking distance of me, that one there. So I'm going to finish that one off and um, you'll know what I've done on the next video. So all I'm going to do, take those out there, attack that unit there and then come back into there. So very simple, There's only a couple of units in there. I can't leave this place because this army's up there as well and this army here can't quite reach it yet. So um, I'm hoping they, these liberated places will defend themselves. So it's a case of just picking off these areas in here, isn't it really? I think I might be in range though, almost, of this area. Uh, so I might I might head for that one as well actually and I'm not sure if I'll liberate that or if I'll take it the idea will be looking at the bottom left hand map again would be to make these red here yeah protected by a border of Spanish around there that would be the general plan and then to go around the coastline taking this coastline around here and then perhaps around here but mm -hmm, that's the general plan well, I don't know what sort of troops you're going to produce I just don't remember I don't remember how I played this one all that, all that time ago about eight months ago so I really don't know if he's able to produce lots and lots and lots of troops up here and be able to march down with large armies but anyhow time's up